This show contains scenes of violence, coarse language, and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. In the next three days, I'm gonna come find you, and I expect better information than what you've given today. World Without Borders. Start gathering info. The fuck? Who the fuck are you? Ooh. Speak now! Who the fuck are you? Who am I? I'm the man, uh, who's watching you sleep. You are a nice person, but I can tell that you're stronger than most of the people around here, buddy, I respect that. What do you mean by that? You keep everybody strong. You you do the same for Sam. Mm -hmm. I can tell he draws strength from you. You are something to be admired. That's very kind of you to say. Honestly, it's, I never saw that in myself, but I'm glad someone sees that. You have a lot of people, like those men back there, they all seemed hollow and empty and disconnected from one another. But you're all close-knit and you'll learn to love each other in a way that is rather fine down here. Well, uh, we're by no means perfect people. We're doing our best. I, th I hope everyone can see that. It's all we can do. You some creepy bastard or something? I was going to watch you sleep. Protect you. Protect me? Who sent you? Alex or Alexandria? I suppose uh, I'd already be dead. Uh, what's your name? Well, uh, you can call me Rhett. Rhett. Alright. Yeah. Well, you probably know mine. Alright. Well, let's get going. Rhett. Alright. Sam. You weren't, like, watching me like some creep, were you? Like, literally watching me? Well, mm, not really. Kinda peeked over a couple times because he was snoring. Really fucking loudly. <laughs> you look like a tough guy, Red. what you used to do? <sighs> I was a bodyguard. I'm bodyguarding a, uh... What'd you say, yeah? Uh, a woman who likes to entertain men on the internet. <laughs> Bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> and how'd you get paid? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I think I did my job pretty swellly. I, mind if I can take a survey? <laughs> as long as you're fighting the same cause, I suppose. You're right. No. Yeah. You seemed like a nice guy, young, tough, may prove helpful to finding my brother. But I quickly realized he could be one hard-headed motherfucker at times. Is that town over there, Cabin Hino? <laughs> you don't know your way around at all, do you? No. I get confused around here. I try to avoid the goddamn place. Straight up, is that a roamer? Yeah, that is. One of the dead ones. Just making sure. Yeah. So, what is that town down there? That is Star Sabor. Alright. We're on track then. Can you remember that one old man? Or is it gonna slip out of your brain? Did he just fucking say that to me? I would appreciate you take a better tone with me, young man. Alright, Ollie. Listen, Rhett, I ain't mm. gonna call you Ace mm. or Kiddo. You don't call me Oldie or Old Man. We got that straight? Alright, Dino. I'm fucking serious. I will slap you silly. You better stop right now. 
Got it, caveman. I felt once again faced with a choice. Now you're literally trying to pull me, right? I see what you're uh, doing. You're fucking with me. And uh, I'm pushing a few buttons in your uh, oh, heated you get. It's good to get that heated that guy. There, oi. Don't push the wrong buttons, Rhett. I swear to God, this is not my fucking day. I'm not kidding. We're fighting the same cause, I'm fine. But don't fuck with me, please, alright? Let's not start this on all the wrong right. foot. Alright, alright. Sorry, right. I just... I just need, need to do some of them. <laughs> so, man, blood his brains today and gonna, it's gonna mess up with my head. Just wanted some amusement. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry you had to see that. Uh, All right, we got off on the wrong foot here, okay? Let's wipe it clean. Yeah. Water under the goddamn bridge, okay? Let's go. Uh, and let's, uh, let's have some food. Something like that. I need a breakfast. That'll cheer me up. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm old, remember? I gotta eat. <laughs> yeah. We finally arrived in Starry Sabor, where we would find Dylan, Morgan, and Alex. Buddy and Trader Jack were out scavenging in another town. It's pretty hot. It is a bit hot, but it's summer after all. I honestly am sweating a little. So, Morgan, see anything interesting? You know, while you were out here? Mm. You know that's not no. gonna make the world any better. I will see the... Was hunting a rabbit and I lost it in the woods. For God a trail. Damn. Oh man, that would have been good. Saving people and all is okay. We still gotta eat, and we were running low on food and options to get food. Alexandra, come here. Yes. He was giving her a few rounds of ammunition. Take, uh, take four. You'd be better off trading those to some Russian mobsters up north in the capital. All the way up north. Shit, that's a lot of running. Just for a few uh, cans of food that they probably give me for such nice fucking rounds. Really? I don't know how the mm. trading companies and shit work. Mm, not where I'm from. They're in the slaves there. I bet if you gave them just 40 or 50 of those bullets, they'd give you any kind of person, a lady, someone who's been abused. I don't want to buy anybody. Not me. And you came from there? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm pretty happy you got out. It seems like a horrible place to be. I uh, worked for them. Not exactly what you think. Because it's hard to live there. You don't have friends. I would go and find the runaways, but only said I would only find the men. No women kept me alive. It's what matters. Yes, well. There's no need for that kind of stuff to be going around anymore. We continued making our way to the next town over. Novi Sabor. We also bumped into a man on the way. Uh, um, there's a man running. I the see him room. across the street. I'm just, uh, going that way. Hey, oh, is there anything in particular over there? Um, a couple of my friends. Uh, well, we were headed this way as well. Would you like to accompany us? Ah, uh, sure, why not? Okay, come this way. Oh, there's a lot of you. I wanted to see if maybe you were in trouble or you, you know, eh, you know, we're in a bit of a oh, situation. No. I'm not in no trouble, I'm just trying to get back to my friend. Right. Okay, right. Uh, what's your name? My name's Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. Name's Sam. And this here is Alexandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to oh. meet you. Safer numbers, as we say, right? So why not? The more numbers you got, the more people try to attack. Well, I assure you, we're not going to do that to you, and hopefully nobody will be doing that to us. I don't see the reason why. You, no. No, oh, but they are bad people. They are bad people. He was heading the opposite direction of where the horsemen reside, but still, we keep a close eye. So, Matt, you say uh, your friends, they're uh, out the coast, right? Would that be the eastern coast or the southern coast? 
I'll uh, try to radio them and see if they answer me. Give me a moment, Ted. Yeah, you take your time, man. Oh, look at me. Oh, God. Oh, we I could love be, uh, We could be brothers. Actually, you're too old for me. Fuck you. You know I'm not even 50. Hey, you're older than me. You're old. How old are you? Old enough. Give me a fucking number. I'm playing games. Stop being a kid. Prove it to me. How old are you? <laughs> One, two, three, maybe four. Maybe five. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, uh, 25. 25. Well. Yeah. You'll get old soon. Hopefully. That's unless you fucking die. Turns out that Matt's friends were at the eastern coast, so we pointed him in the right direction. Us, on the other hand, were led to a house by Morgan, where we would stay at least for the night. I'll be out there for a while. Need some fresh air anyway. Eh. Yeah. Go ahead, inside. <laughs> I will watch. Right. Hey, Alexandra. Yes? This might seem a little weird, and I don't take it the wrong way, but is there any chance I could see your face? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I do want you to remember me. Mm. Well, um, I suppose keep it between us. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. If you, uh, need to switch shifts, I'll be warming up inside for now. If y'all remember when I was captured by the horseman, Ruski told me there were two leaders, Braxton Knight and the other that I didn't have the pleasure to meet, Austin Maverick. No doubt, no doubt, who fucking knows? Maybe he'll give us some interesting information, you never know. This guy could be useful. If not, well, you know, mm -hmm. deal with them like we deal with everybody else. <sighs> Honestly, a shame. I used to be, uh, I guess, on the w the weaker side of everything. I was always in those groups going after the big dogs. And now that we sure, are the big dogs, it's uh, hard to look down. You're telling me, pal. I feel the exact uh, same fucking way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, like, my yeah. fucking first interaction with you, Austin, wasn't the best fucking interaction, now was it? <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's how it kind of works out with everybody that becomes my friend. I mean, ask Ruski. I fucking tortured him who many months ago, to be honest. I put a nice little mark on his arm and let him go after he shot his friend. I forced him to shoot his friend, square in the fucking chest. Good times, man. He didn't even seem to regret it, to be honest. I think that's why I kind of like him now. Good times. That was honestly good, good memories. Fucking clown days, man. It's a nice, cozy place, Morgan. This is where you used to live. No. You said you stayed here before. Hmm. That was the time when I came south with a girl and I helped escape the people I told you about earlier. I helped free one of the slaves, brought them here. This turned out to be one of the places we stayed a lot. I made sure she was cared for and I taught her how to live. A while ago she ended up Slipping away in the night and leaving. I'm sure she's out there somewhere. It doesn't matter. She's safe now. Safer than she's been in a long time. Almost ever. At least one good thing, but... Yeah. During this time, the horsemen were up to no good. Well, then you happen to have a, uh, a saline kit, would you? Alright, sugar tits, put, put your fucking hands up, you stupid cunt. Hands up, dickhead! Oh. Alright, everyone in the fucking industrial yard! 
Put your fucking hands up now or be shot. All right, you're with me. Climbing up a ladder, going upstairs. Put your fucking hands in the air. Do you fucking understand? Let's go. I hope that wasn't one of your friends up there. If you don't mind me asking what group are you guys? Turn around and face the fucking wall. Well, those guys that I just shot, I don't really know him that well. I just met him right. 25 minutes ago. Oh, he's very dead. Yeah, yeah. Bullshit, you didn't know him. They're fucking wearing ghillies and shit. I shot a fucker over there that looked exactly like you. So, you didn't know any of those guys out there that my guys just massacred. You don't know a single one. You're both in ghillie suits. You don't know a single one of those guys, what you're saying. I came in here uh -huh. to use the, the well. And you, were you wearing this ghillie suit here that I see on this ground? It's fucking grass. You were wearing oh, this, eh? That's my... Yes. I was on the roof, I didn't yeah. So it just so happened that the other guy was wearing one as well. These things aren't fucking easy to make, yes. they take tons of time. So you're telling me you didn't know that guy? Playing dead in the field. I did not know him. And this guy's a goddamn fucking liar. This is making I'll me one last fucking chance. cringe. Did you fucking know him? I did not fucking know that shit face. God damn it. Yeah, I guess we can just let him go, right? Yeah, yeah alright, go ahead. You're good to go. Oh. Stupid fuck! Oh. Oh. I will sit here and watch you fucking bleep it out. Did you or did you not know that man? I do not know that fucking asshole over there. You fucking oh fuck! What? I'm sorry. No, what? What was that? I didn't fucking hear you. Go ahead. No, no. Speak into the fucking ear. Go ahead. What were you gonna fucking say to me? I did not. I did not know that fucking cut over there. You fucking shite. Hey, punch this fucking asshole up. I'm not gonna let you fucking bleed out because I still fucking need you. They pretty much got him in the same shitty deal I'm in. Are you guys, are you guys, you know, I'm asking, are you guys the horsemen? I hope. Yeah, 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 yeah we are, my name's Austin Maverick. <laughs> Bingo, man. Oh, fuck sakes, man! I wish I would've known earlier, I'm a fucking, god damn it, I'm working, I'm working for you guys to find the 108. You're working for me, Mr. and I don't know you. Yeah, Miss, Mr. Chow, or not Chow, or Chang, that was a, a Chinese guy, you Mr. know, Ch hired me to Chang. a fucking... <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> what about Shang? Good old Shang. <laughs> he told me that uh, if I work for you guys, I prove my worth and uh, get some information on the cap or something. And what information have you gotten me thus far, huh? I haven't seen anything. Well, so far, so I don't like I people who don't to, fucking uh, give me information. You said you were going to get me information, you didn't give me fucking information. Yeah. No, I hired so another guy to like give me fucking information. My friend, uh, where the fuck's Braxton? Where the fuck are you, motherfucker? Didn't oh. you fucking get some goddamn hick to oh, get us some fucking information? Some who? Fucking cowboy hat looking motherfucking? Cowboy. Oh, that dude's been gone. I don't know where the hell you am. They didn't bring you nothing. No, they don't ever bring shit. Here's the deal, buddy. I'm not gonna kill you today. I'm gonna bring you the head of that fucking cowboy and his friends. And then you're gonna know what fucking happened. To those who fucking don't get the goddamn information that they promised me. So what are you gonna do? Oh, well, I'm gonna get you your fucking information. You're gonna get me my fucking information. You're goddamn right. Good. Now, me and my friends are gonna get out of here. We're gonna let you go. We're gonna head up fucking north. You're gonna get information on that fucking camp you were assigned to. And when you do so, you're gonna either come to our town, and you're gonna very politely tell us this information. And perhaps I'll have a little reward for you on the side. But if you don't... And I find that I wait my time and you don't get bring me any fucking information. You're gonna end up just like that stupid hick's gonna end up. In the ground, six feet under. You got it? Understood it. Good. Alright. Someone cut this nice man loose. We were clearly not equipped to fight a group like the horsemen, so I made sure to stay clear from them, because I sure as hell ain't fucking working for them. This is one hell of a crappy day, isn't it? it? Just won't stop pouring down. My goodness. You try carrying around all this gear and see if you don't like a little bit of uh, cool water down your back. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, I don't mind a little bit of rain when I'm fishing, but otherwise, well, it just gets old after a while. Hmm. Does anybody have some goddamn food? I'm starving. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let me see that. Of course. If we're gonna ask something for something, might as well ask Trader Jack. <laughs> I 
do what I can. Uh, looks like I got uh, three more salted steaks, and uh, if you want something already cooked, I got a chicken breast here. Salted too, you're gonna have to wash it off. Very nice, I'll take that, thank you. Not gonna lie, it felt good to have people around me again. I was starting to feel ready, ready to trust these people with the real reason why I'm here. I don't think you're gonna get much reception out of that. I tried already. Ah. <sighs> this bad truth of our new reality. I'm real tired to be cooped up in here. I need a little bit of fresh air. I think that's a good idea. Rain never killed anybody now, did it? Mm. Yeah. Just don't swallow too much. Before I risk telling them about my brother, I needed a minute alone to gather my thoughts. with me. They seem pretty trustworthy. I, I think I could tell them. Maybe they'll be able to help me now. I, I guess I'll take your word for it. Sam, for Christ's sakes, just be careful, okay? Okay, yeah. No, no problem. Listen to me. Quinn, I will find you, okay? It's a promise. Alright, but hurry. I think they're gonna kill me soon. And in case they do, I, I love you, Sam. I love you too, Quinn. You ain't gonna die, you hear me? Sam. What? Oh, um... Uh, hi, buddy. How, uh, how, what are you doing here? What was it you were just doing there? I, I was... I was talking with someone. You know, I, uh... Um... I think I've known this for a while, but I just haven't accepted to, uh, realize it. What are you talking about? I was talking to him. Listen, all right, maybe it's time I tell you. It's my brother. His, his name is Quinn. I came here looking for him. There's some bad man that got him, buddy. They got him. They got him trapped somewhere. He says it's dark. He doesn't know who it is. But he's out there, and I gotta find him. No, Sam. Quinn... Quinn's been gone for months. What? He's dead. How do you fucking know Quinn? Hey guys, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on the notifications so you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you all so much for the support.